day 22 of Vault Du. Wow, this trip's going fast. We just got finished with a great dinner here in Contrez, the manor of Contrez. This is, we're back in the room. There's a little restaurant in this place. And we were just got done talking to the chef and his wife who served us and took our orders in their tiny little restaurant. I had lamb chops and a lobster bisque soup to start, followed by a dessert called Fontainebleau, which is the name of Napoleon's uh, chateau. So we had a great dinner, a fun time here with Jim and Lisa, and it's the end of the evening and I'm doing my update. I've taken my contacts off, wearing my glasses, and I'm about to go to bed. Today, we went to Valence, we went to Bourges, we had a great picnic at the park in Bourges, and uh, tomorrow, it's off to Ambois and Chenin So, and I'll show you some of those. This will be a short update, because I don't have a lot of content, because we drove a lot today, but tomorrow, maybe a few more videos. At the end of the day tomorrow, we're going to meet Rick and Carla and go out to dinner at a restaurant called Le Cluse, which in French is the lock. I think it's appropriate for people who spend weeks and weeks like we do on canal boats to also eat at restaurants called locks. So for day of Vente du, I say adieu and à tout l'heure and tomorrow, I'll see you for a day 23. So, from France, day 22. I'll see you for 23. Cheers. Full circle, two weeks later, we're back at the Chateau de Valence, who housed, which I should say, housed Maurice de Talleyrand, the foreign minister for Napoleon. We're in the town of Contre, Contras. And we're gonna stay in this manor de Contras. We're gonna have a little poivre liqueur. 65. Sarah's chilly. <laughs> She's got her sweater on. Do you guys want to sit here at a little table or do you want to go sit in the yard? This is today's starting liqueur, a creme de poire, so a cream of pear. pear. Mm -hmm. It's 18%. Never seen this before. We bought it at the um, grocery store in Sancerre where we were picking up picnic supplies. This seemed like a good supply for a picnic. So, are you ready to try it? Sure. Okay. Okay. Here's my second taste because I forgot to hit record. And Lisa's first assessment was could be okay, could be bad, could taste like rot gut. But 
It's delicious and it tastes just like pear, although it is pretty sweet. It's sweet. It tastes like a pear, like you're eating a pear. It's almost even grainy like a pear. Mm -hmm. You know how pears can be kind of grainy. Mm -hmm. You two, you must be related. Can you walk all around? Yeah. Mm. Look at me. I think if it was colder, it'd be better.